Welcome to the television ministry of King David Baptist Church, 2329 North King Avenue in Lutcher, Louisiana, under the leadership of Pastor Ferdinand Wallace Jr., a church that's warm, friendly, and our doors are always open and welcoming. King David Baptist Church. Eternal God, we say thank you. Thank you for all that has been said and done thus far. As we prepare our hearts to receive your holy word, Lord, speak in a very special way. For Lord, we need you every minute and every hour. We can't make this journey without you. Lord, help us along the way. Give us strength to run this race, dear Lord. The Lord, I pray that someone that don't know even a part of their sins, the Lord, that they will come running saying, what must I do to be saved? Backslider will find their way back home. That your saints would be edified. Lord, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. That the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. It is in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Good morning. I'm Pastor Ferdinand Wallace Jr., the pastor of King David Baptist Church of 2329 King Avenue in Lutcher, Louisiana. We welcome you to come out and fellowship with us in our Sunday worship service every Sunday at 8 o'clock. Our Lord's Supper service is on first Sunday. Our mission is on Tuesday at 5 o'clock. Bible study, prayer service is on Thursday beginning at 5.30. Prayer service, 6 o'clock, Bible study. Come on out and be blessed. Thank you for fellowshipping with us. Enjoy the service. Yeah. Mary and Joseph had nothing to do with that name. That name was given by God. And his name shall be called Jesus. God gave him that name. That was a special name. And Jesus means Jehovah is salvation. I told you the name means something. And the name fit the character. Jehovah is salvation. That's who God, that's who Jesus Christ was. Our salvation. He came down to this world to redeem us. To save us. Because we couldn't save ourselves. God is in the saving business. It's not that any man should perish. He don't want us to go to hell, but many are going to hell on their own accord. Hell was not made for us. Hell was made for the devil and his angels. But it was God's will that every man would be saved. Saved. That's what he came to this world for. Jesus Christ. He came to redeem us because of the sin nature that we had. Every last one of us was on our way to H-E-L-L. -L. But thank God, Jesus Christ, he came. He made a way for us. He gave us eternal life through his son, Jesus Christ. The veil of the temple was rent from top to bottom, and now we have access where we can go to God for ourselves. That's great to know that I can call on him in the midnight hour, that I can call on him any time and any day, that I can call on the name of Jesus, and he will hear my prayer, and he will answer. There was something about that name Jesus it was special and not only was it special but Jesus was the only sinless name that we can ever have because all of our names I don't care what your name is even if you don't how you came about with that name or how your mother named you that all of us got something behind our name and I'm not talking about no letters. I'm not talking about no doctor. I'm not talking about all of this. But all of us got some garbage behind all of our names. We can talk about some good that we have done. But at the same time, we got some bad things that we have done too. But only one person, the only one person that I know 
that has nothing good but good behind his name. See? And that is the name of Jesus. And because of that name, Jesus, God have highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name. At the name of Jesus, a name that is above every name. There's only one name, and that name is Jesus. And at the name of Jesus, at his name, at the name of J-E-S-U-S, -S, at the name of Jesus, it said that every knee gonna bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. But I'd rather do it now because if you don't do it now, I guarantee you're going to do it later. But later may be too late. Every knee going to bow. Every tongue will confess that he is Lord. They're going to bow down. That's the humility that we got. Yeah. We should reverence God. We should praise God for who he is. He is Jesus Christ for what he has already done. I'm not talking about what he will do. I'm talking about what he has already done. He's done enough. He is our all-sufficient Savior. And if God does nothing else, he has done enough. And that in itself is a reason for me to give God praise. He woke me up. I thank God for that. See? But the reason why, because he loves me. And he's God all by himself. Somebody didn't get up this morning. But you know what? He's still God. Somebody don't have their right mind. But you know what? He's still God. He healed my body. But yet somebody is still sick. But you know what? He's still God. God is still God. Whether he bless or not. He's still an all-knowing God. He's still an all-powerful God. He's still an awesome God. He's still an awesome Savior. Yes. We worship a mighty God. Oh, yeah. I praise him. Yeah. I worship him for what he has already done. He's worthy to be praised. And they're going to praise him in the heavens. And some people, they don't want to praise him right now. <laughs> oh, what you going to do when you get to heaven? <laughs> See? You're talking about you're on your way somewhere. See? If you're going to heaven, you're going to praise him 24-7. The angels are bowing down and they're worshiping and they're saying, holy, holy, holy. See? He's worthy to be praised. Worthy is the lamb. The rewards that you're going to receive, the crowns that you're going to get, you're going to lay them all right down at his feet. Right. Salvation, glory, and honor all belongs to him. We'll be singing hallelujah. Yeah. Salvation and glory and honor. Giving God praise because he is worthy to be praised. Yeah. And he want us to praise him. He want us to worship him. Worship him what? Don't wait. You can worship God right now. See? Yeah. You can praise him right now. You don't have to wait till the battle is over. We already got the victory. We already got the victory through Christ Jesus. So we can worship God. We can praise him in spirit and in truth. The heavens going to praise him. And he want us to praise him even right now on this earth. Praise God, for he is worthy to be praised. That even the demons, while Jesus Christ was on this earth, they feared and they reverenced God. They realized that our time was not yet. But yet they still feared and reverenced God. And yet we call ourselves saints. We call ourselves Christians. And yet we still don't fear. We still don't worship God. We ought to praise God. 
We don't have to have the choir to pump us up. We don't need nobody to tell us to give God praise. If God have done something for you, you ought to praise him for what he has already done. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy of our praise. The things in the heavens, the things on the earth, everything, the things under the earth, <laughs> everything, going to give him praise. That one day, we all going to praise God together. And those that are going to be on their way to hell, that one day, they're going to acknowledge that he is Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. They're going to do it. But I'd rather do it now. Confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart. See? This praise got to be a public praise. See? Sometimes we want to get quiet, see. Yeah. And you don't know what he's done for me, see. Yeah. I can say like Jeremiah, I said I wasn't going to yeah. tell nobody, see. But I, I just couldn't keep it. Too much, yeah. I, I had to tell what the Lord have done for me, see. Yeah. How good the Lord have been for me, see. Mm -hmm. and, and if you don't want to praise him, don't hinder me, see. Right. God has been too good to us. He's been too good to me. He's been too good to you. That people don't want to praise him. People don't want to worship God. He has brought us from a mighty, mighty long way. Just think about where you were. I'm not talking about on yesterday, but think about where the Lord has brought you from. See? The life that you once lived. See? Thank God I'm not the same. I'm not all that I should be, but thank God I'm not what I used to be. See? Thank God I've been changed. I've been washed. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. See? And thank God that he has washed me, he has cleansed me, that my sins have been forgiven and they are gone away as far as the east is from the west. I'm so glad that I've been redeemed. <laughs> I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. See? If you think about that, what he have done for you, that in itself is reason enough to give God praise. He's been good. He's brought us from a mighty long way. When I think about <laughs> The goodness of Jesus and, and all that he's done for me. See, my soul cries out. We should be crying out, Lord, hallelujah. Lord, thank you for what you have done. See, giving him praise. Realizing that we didn't get here by ourselves. But it was nobody but God. See, yeah, there's things that we should feel depressed about things we should feel down about but when I think about what the Lord have done what the Lord have brought me from it is the love that he has for me that lifts me up see yes. that lift down my bow down head see yeah. that my heavy burden that I realize that I can cast all my cares upon him because he cares for me that the Lord, he is my strength. See? That he is my rock. That the Lord, he promised that he'll never leave me, nor would he forsake me. That Jesus, he is right there with me. I got strength to move on. There was something special about that name. That was the only sinless name. Jesus. Jehovah salvation and he was the one in that name there is salvation because there is no other name but at the name of Jesus whereby souls can be saved there is salvation in no other name and I know there's other that call upon this name and that name but there is salvation in no other name than the name of Jesus, whereby men can be saved. Can't be saved on the pastor name. Your name could be on that roll, but you better make sure that you know that man and that man is Jesus. I don't care about nobody else 
you better know Jesus. And if you know Jesus, you're all right. If you know the J-E-S-U-S, if you know the man that died for you, that paid the price for you, if you have confessed with your mouth and believed in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says that thou shall be saved. And that salvation in the name of Jesus. He came to this world, did nothing wrong. He told Mary and Joseph that you're going to name him, you're going to have a child, and you got to name his name Jesus. He was born in Bethlehem. He came down to this world. He grew up. He was the son of the carpenter, they said. Isn't this the carpenter's son that yet he was still doing the things of his father? He said, I must be about my father's business. He came down to this world. He performed the first miracle by turning water into wine. He gave them, he fed them 5,000. He turned he fed, took, took two fish and five loaves of bread and fed 5,000. It was Jesus that was able to walk upon the water. It was the same Jesus that spit upon the ground and healed the man that was blind. It was the same Jesus that came in, the one that was dumb, that couldn't even speak, that enabled them to speak. The one that couldn't even hear, enabled them to hear. It was the same Jesus that the man that took a pallet and they, they made a way for him and they, they opened a, a hole in the roof and they brought him down. It was the same Jesus that told him to rise up and walk. The same Jesus that came down to this earth and did nothing wrong but yet they led our Lord and Savior to an old rugged cross. But he said that no man take my life but I got the power to lay it down and if I lay it down I got the power to take it up again. In the scripture it said that he became obedient unto man. He humbled himself. He took on the form of man and he became obedient unto death. Even death on the cross. I tell you that he died on that cross. They took him up and they led him up a hill that was called Calvary. They took a cross and they put upon his shoulder. They stripped him of his clothing. They, they put a robe upon him. They put crowns of thorns upon his head and he said they hit my savior they slapped him and he said if you be the Christ tell me who hit you they mocked my savior and he did all of that just for you I'm trying to tell you that that is power in the name of Jesus there is something about that name that at the name of Jesus there is something about that name they took my Lord and Savior while he was on that cross they led him down and they put nails in his hand. They put nails in his feet. But they realized that all oh, if you lift me up. Oh, just lift me up. That if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. They took that cross and they lifted him up. I tell you, many have died of an old rugged cross. But you know what? They just died. But there was something about that name, Jesus. There was something about the one that was in the middle. There was three that was there. There was one on the left, there was one on the right, but there was something about the one that was in the middle. Even the centurion said that, oh, that that must have been the Son of God. There was something about that man, Jesus. Yes, he st stood there on the cross from the sixth to the ninth hour. They took a spear and they put it in his side. Out of it came water and blood. Yes, he gave up the ghost. He cried out that it is finished. I want to let you know that he died on that cross. My Savior died. Jesus died. But I'm so glad that that's not how that story ends. Three days later, he got up out of that grave. Yes, they took him down off that cross. They placed him in a borrowed tomb. They sealed that tomb. They put a rock over a rock. They put a rock 
in a rock, but a rock couldn't keep the rock because early Sunday morning, that rock got up with all power in his hand. And I want you to know that that grave is empty. You can go and you can look, you can see that that tomb is empty. Why stand ye gazing? The same Jesus you see that have gone away, he's coming back again. He's coming back for prepared people for a prepared place. But have you made your preparation? Because at the name of Jesus, at the name of Jesus, every knee gonna bow, every tongue will confess that he is Lord. He's Lord of Lord. He's King of King. I serve a risen Savior. My God is not dead. And because he lives, I can praise him. I can give him glory. I can face any situation because my God got up out of that grave with all power in his hand. He conquered death, something that we couldn't conquer because everybody came, they died, they had some great ones, but they were still in the grave. Only one man, only one man came and died and got up out of that grave with all power in his hand. And that man is J-E-S-U-S. -E -S. Jesus. And at the name of Jesus, every knee gonna bow. Every tongue will confess. God has highly exalted him. Yes, he died. He went back to his father in glory. God restored unto him once that was lost. The glory got back. He got it back. Back to his father. And right now, he's seated at the right hand of God. He is our high priest. He's making intercessions for you and I. The devil is accusing us every day. I told you they were no good. I told you they did it. But yet God, in Jesus Christ, is standing on the right hand of God and saying, I paid the price. I've done it all just for you. We stand before God as if we have done nothing wrong. Thank God for Jesus Christ. He's alive and he lives in this world today. I serve a risen Savior. He's not dead. And we ought to act like he's alive. We ought to walk like he's alive. We ought to talk like he's alive. You ought to walk in the victory in Jesus Christ. You don't have to wait till we get to the other side. We can shout right now. If he's done anything for you, you ought to give him praise. What God have done. What he's doing even right now. Jesus. There's something about that name. There's deliverance in that name. There's power in that name. I don't care what you're going through. I know someone you can call them. He'll be a friend that stick closer than a brother. I know someone, Jesus, see, who promised us that he would dry every tear from our eyes. I know someone, if you need deliverance, he can deliver you. If you need to be saved, he can save you. If you need healing, he can heal you. At the name of Jesus, there's power in his name. Jesus, 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 Jesus. There's something about that name. I love to call that name. Jesus, 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 there is something about that name, Master, Savior, Jesus. Let all have
heaven and earth proclaim kings and kingdoms they will all pass away but there's something about that name Jesus 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 there is something about that name Jesus 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 let all heaven and the earth proclaim kings and kingdoms they will all pass away but there's something about that name is that one Jesus 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 let all heaven and earth proclaim kings and kingdoms they will all pass away but there's something above that name is that one Jesus 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 there is something about that name is that one They will all pass away, but there's something about that name. This is your day. This is your moment. This is your opportunity. The day that you hear my voice, he says to harden not your heart. The Spirit says, come, is there one? Is that one? Tomorrow is not promised. Get it right while you have a chance. Thank you for watching and fellowshipping with us. We pray that it has been a blessing unto you. We're looking forward to seeing you in person. Come on out and be blessed at King David Baptist Church, 2329 King Avenue in Lutch, Louisiana. This has been Pastor Ferdinand Wallace Jr. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a copy of today's program, please contact us at the King David Baptist Church at area code 225-869-8595. That's 225-869-8595. Please note the title of today's program. Thank you for viewing today's service of the King David Baptist Church located at 2329 North King Avenue in Lutcher, Louisiana under the leadership of Pastor Ferdinand Wallace Jr. Pastor Wallace and the members and congregation invite you to join them for service starting each Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Until next time, we thank you for viewing and have a great weekend.